What's up everyone? In this video, I will share with you a strategy that will help you pass any FTMO challenge. So if you're interested, let's get right into it. All right, so this will be a trend strategy. So the trend will be our friend and we will trade with the trend only. This strategy will take place on the hourly time frame. The one hour is going to be our main time frame. Now, what tools do we need for this strategy? You go right here on indicators and you click EMA. You select moving average exponential. Then you go to its settings and make sure to select the length at 200. After that, you just click OK. And the second tool that we will need is the FIB retracement. All right. After that, we are all set. Now, let's hear the rules. We will look for sell entries if we are trending below the 200 EMA and we will look for long or buy entries if we trend above the 200 EMA. All right. Now, right here, we can see that we are below the 200 EMA. We will look for trades by following market structure. OK, guys, so I'm pretty sure you already know how to read market structure. If you don't, a video will pop up on the screen right now where I go in depth about market structure, about how to read the market structure step by step. So if you don't know yet, please go ahead and check it out. And after that, come back to this video. OK, so now I assume all of you already know how to read market structure. Basically, this is the most recent lower high and this is the newly created lower low. What we would like to do is place the fib from the lower high to the newly created lower low. OK, this strategy is going to be a high risk to reward rate strategy. So we might lose some trades in a row. OK, so you got to be prepared to lose two, three, four trades in a row because our risk to reward will be very, very good. All right. So after this, I like to highlight the 618 and 76.4 area, the range between these two levels. And now let's just play the market. And once price gets in my zone right here, I like to drop down to the M15 or even the M5, but I'm going to keep it on the M15. The M5 can be too noisy. And on the M15, I will look for a very clear candlestick pattern around a order block area. So we can see that we have also for the people that do not have time to trade Forex every single day or still struggle being profitable while trading Forex, but still want to get setups like this i highly recommend to check out my free signal group on telegram the link is down below this setup was literally sent today it was a buy limit pending order all we do is send pending orders because like this every single one of you will be able to make profits from the signals and this one was sent in the vip of course if you want to upgrade to the vip where we do vip live weekly coaching sessions every single week you can do that from the free signal group okay enjoy and thank me later hey order block area right here. If you guys don't know what order blocks are, please make sure to check out my order block video as well. That video will pop out on the screen right now. So please go ahead, learn about them and then come back to this video. This is basically um, the most recent order block because after this, the market went ballistic to the downside. And this was the last up candle before this massive down push. So we also have this confluence, which is great. Now we look for a bearish confirmation in this zone to get into a sell. OK. A bearish confirmation, meaning a uh, bearish engulfing, doji, hammer and check this out. Textbook uh, bearish engulfing right here. That's going to be our entry. The stop loss is going to be right above the most recent high and the take profit is going to be the minus 61.8. OK, which is a nice 9R trade. OK, so on this trade, let's say we risk 1%. We would be able to make 9% and almost pass the FTMO challenge. OK, let's see how this goes. All right. Trade is running in profit. Right here, I would either like to uh, um, to close half of the trade and move my stop loss at break even or at least move the stop loss at break even. OK, so let's play the market. And as we can see, um, 
we smash targets right here. And if you wanted, you could have literally traded your stop loss in profit and you would have you would have been able to hit a 10 hour trade right here and you would have literally passed your FTMO challenge with one single trade. OK, so that's what I mean by the strategy. That's why I said in the title that this strategy will literally pass your FTMO challenge in one single day. And trust me, it is possible. Trust me, it is possible, but please make sure to use proper risk management because if you don't, you might as well just blow the account. And after you go ahead and try this strategy on a challenge, make sure to go ahead and backtest it, okay? Don't take this video for granted and be like, okay, I'm gonna jump on a live account or on a prop account and I'm gonna expect the best out of this strategy. No, please go ahead, test it, and then um, start using it, okay? Backtest it with the bar replay feature if you have it. If not, then just go on a demo account start marking up the charts using market structure, the FIB levels, and then start looking for entries exactly as I did, okay? So now let's quickly recap. So we look for shorts if we are below the 200, which we were, okay? Then we look for market, market structure. We, we mark the FIB level from the most recent lower high to the newly created lower low, as we just did here. We mark the 76.4 and 618 area, the range between these two zones, and once we get in that zone, we go on the M15 and on the M15, we like to draw a order block that's literally in that zone. And we had this candle right here. Let me remove it and do it again. This candle right here is the most, re the most recent bearish order block. So what we did is we drew the order block, order block right here on the candle. And after that, our entry trigger is a bearish candlestick pattern, which we also received right here. So those are all the confluences for me to get into the trade. I enter the trade, I place my stop loss accordingly and my take profit at the 618 or you can also trail it. How do you trail the stop loss? You place it below the most recent lower high, above the most recent lower high or below the most recent higher low if it's a buy setup on the M15, we trail the stop loss on the M15. So that means that you would have had your stop loss right here because this was the most recent lower high. And then after this low was broken, you would have moved your stop loss right here. And once it hit 10 R, uh, that's when you could have closed the whole entire trade to pass the challenge with one single trade. Okay guys. So yeah, this was pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave it a like, also share it. And if you have any questions, please drop them down below. And as always, stay tuned because I have more videos like this one coming in the future and you don't want to miss them out. All right, guys, see y'all in a bit and take care.